Ladies and gentlemen, I'm very sad today. What you're seeing on the screen happened after I tested my modern gambit or the so-called Fianchetto gambit on chess.com for the very first time. For those of you guys who have been following me for quite some time, know that I just opened a new account on chess.com to try my crazy gambits, the same gambits that I play even on leeches. And you know how we started developing these so-called modern gambit and most of my subscribers here on YouTube who know me in person will tell you how legit I am with my gambits. So it seems like some guy that I defeated with my modern gambit reported my account thinking I was cheating and I don't know the criteria that the chess.com security used to review my game and then they ended up closing my account but the truth is I am better than that and I'm so disappointed with the security system or whatever and you guys will be the judges. I have included the link to my modern gambit playlist in the comment section down below and this is for you guys and the rest of the world to see where we started from or how I started building this Fianchetto gambit from scratch. So whatever I played in the game that you are about to see or in my other Fianchetto gambit games has been presented on this channel before. In fact, you can check my first tutorial video that I made on this Fianchetto gambit that costed my chess.com account for you to judge properly. So I know almost all the best moves that the engine recommends because I've done a lot of videos on this Fianchetto gambit and I've played hundreds of games if not thousands with this gambit. So with this being said I feel I'm a Fianchetto gambit expert but chess.com doesn't know and worse off chess.com doesn't even know coach Casper. <laughs> Anyway, so this happened during my live recording stream or whatever you can call it. So I'll leave it up to you again. You guys will be the judges. Here is the game that costed me according to my brainchild. If there is any other Fianchetto Gambit game, the chess.com team will have to explain to me. But whoever reported me thinking I was cheating should watch my tutorial video on this Gambit. And just for disclosure, my peak rating on leeches is 2536. So I play around 2200 and 2400 on average. I mean most of the times, especially when I'm feeling lazy or when I'm at work. Right, so let's see how this game went. Welcome back you guys. It's time to try my Fiekero Gambit against some chess.com players. So G6, planning to go F5 next. Again, this is my new account. Just for you guys to know. I play on leeches most of the times, but... Let's see how this will go even on chess.com. So I play queen d6 to stop bishop f4 by white and also to protect my g6 pawn. Most of my opponents here play knight to f3 after which, yeah, after which I now play bishop g4. I covered all these things in my uh, first tutorial video on this so-called Fianchetto Gambit, <laughs> but I named it the modern gambit. My opponents play pawn to h3 here and I play knight c6 because you know after h3 uh, white won't be able to take my light square bishop because of rook takes h1 so that's why I play knight c6. That's the idea attacking the d4 pawn. So my keen followers and my students know our main plan from here and I can safely say I know at least 90% of the best moves that stockfish recommends after this position and I can safely say that at least I also know the best moves that my opponent needs to play for him to make my Fianchetto Gambit look useless because I've played this Gambit hundreds of times on leeches so I'm comfortable with it. Like here the best move I can play is pawn to a6 stopping knight b4. I covered this line in my tutorial video and I have played this several times and again the rest of our plan is to go e5 bishop h6 knight e7 then knight f5 Later on, knight d7. Oh, I said knight c6. <laughs> Why am I repeating this? And then castle long in the near future. So this is no strange to me. Let's see what my opponent is going to do. By the way, knight to f3 was a sheer waste of time by my opponent. The correct move that my opponent was supposed to play is queen f3. And now I'm looking at knight c6, e5, and then castle long. That's what I advised in my tutorial video. I'm not just marketing, you guys should go and watch that video. I mean my first tutorial video on the modern gambit or on the Fianchetto gambit. 
Oh, by the way, I've never seen any other content creator presenting this weird gambit. And just for disclosure, I already won several games using this Fienkero gambit here on chess.com, which is a sign that most people even on chess.com are not aware of this gambit. So I bet you guys give it a try to take most of your opponents out of their prep. Again, our main plan is to go knight c6 and pawn to e5 given a chance and then play bishop h6 later on, knight e7 and then put our king's knight on f5 just in case you missed our tutorial video. So I got you covered, hoping to see what my opponent would play from here. Ah, <sighs> it's taking a bit of time. This is becoming boring. Anyways, while my opponent is still thinking, I'm still working on my e5 defense course which is free at the moment so you guys can check it out i work with the team of field masters and candidate masters oh finally white has played bishop e3 now let's continue with our plan so knight c6 next i plan to go pawn to e5 or bishop h6 and castle long queen e2 by white and i i guess my opponent wants to castle long now after bishop e3 in my tutorial video i recommended the move bishop h6 before playing pawn to e5 what is that you have been temporarily suspended for failing to follow our community but come on you guys you can play again in 60 minutes come on you guys and he says i've been kicked i should wait 30 minutes to reconnect what is happening seems like my account is closed guys for playing my fienkero gambit this is so embarrassing especially that it's happening while i'm recording this you guys chess.com doesn't know that i'm a 25 36 rated player on leeches <sighs> How do I even send this to the chess.com support or whatever security team is in charge of fair play? Ah, uh, this is so unfair to me, you guys. And look at this. Let me just refresh and see what has really happened to my account. I can't believe what I'm seeing happening for the first time ever since I was born. <laughs> Shame. Right, you guys, welcome back. So I just looked at my account, which has been closed. And true, it's like one of my opponents who I defeated with my weird Fienkero Gambit reported me to chess.com. And I'm not sure the criteria that chess.com used in order to suspend or close my account. I think it's unfair. Maybe it's because this was a new account and I was playing like the best moves that I recommended in my tutorial video. But if this is the case, how safe are we? Because to be honest, you guys, it's it's very possible you can actually memorize a whole opening repertoire or even up to 20 top engine moves like I just don't understand and as you can see on the screen it's not like I've been winning all my games look at all these losses in red you guys like I lost four games continuously to 20 hundreds and 21 hundreds and I won some games here and there so I don't really understand what is happening and yes I already presented the opening lines that I played Played in my Fienkero Gambit games. The other openings that I tried on this new account are openings like the Amazon opening which I presented like two months ago. I guess the video has just popped up in the card above and this is why I like playing bullet chess most of the times. At least maybe the system will understand that I have less time to cheat or I don't know I just don't know how this works. If somebody cares out there they can help sending emails to the chess.com team explaining to them how legit I am and if need be you can also link my tutorial video on the modern gambit and let them see if there's any strange move that I played in my Fienkero Gambit which I did not include in my tutorial video. So up to you guys, you are the judges, let me know what you think. I hope I'll be able to recover this account sooner or later but for the time being I must continue with other platforms like Chess24 and Leeches where I have never experienced this kind of an embarrassment and I believe the anti-cheating systems that Chess.com uses is no different from the one that Leeches uses and Chess24. For now, there's nothing I can do, hope to see you soon in my next video and never lose hope, I'm not the first one to lose my account. There are a lot of grandmasters out there, super grandmasters whose accounts have been suspended on the same suspicion. So I don't know, I just don't know, bye bye.